The collision and two dimension apparatus allows students to use the concept of conservation of momentum, energy, and collisions to investigate the coefficient of restitution. The apparatus includes a curved track with an internal clamp, a long plumb bob line, a pair of steel balls, a glass ball, a hollow wooden ball, as well as a detailed activity guide. The clamp fits table edges up to three and a half centimeters thick, and the pendulum bob line is 80 centimeters long. The most unique feature of this, besides the included clamp, is the ability to easily adjust the pendulum bob line. This sits directly on the mount that you put the ball on, and you can adjust the length very easily so that the pendulum bulb is hanging freely directly below the ball so you can measure the horizontal range. Aside from having a level table to attach the ramp to, the alignment of the balls is very important. The easiest way to do this is to set them up as shown, but then remove the ball on the mount and slowly unscrew the mount so you can get it just below the ball in the background. Once these are aligned properly, you should be able to get a pretty good transfer of energy from one ball to the other. Since the glass ball is the same diameter as the steel ball, you can follow the same alignment rules. The wooden sphere, however, you need to align the centers before you do the experiment. Regardless of which combination of marbles you use, there are some common values you need to measure. The mass of each ball, the vertical distance that the marble is falling through the ramp, little h, the distance from the stationary marble to the floor, which is capital H, and you want to average out about five horizontal ranges, or in this case, capital S. Once you have all those values, you would then use this lovely formula, which the derivation is shown in the manual to calculate the coefficient of restitution. The closer you are to one, the more elastic the collision is. The collision in two-dimension apparatus allows students to get hands-on experience with conservation of momentum, kinetic energy, and coefficient of restitution. The included marbles and wooden ball allow you to have three different variations of the experiment. The included clamp and the unique design of the pendulum bob allows you to get very precise measurements for the horizontal range. For its small size, there's also other extension lessons that you could do. You could have the students investigate horizontally moving objects versus the time for it to hit the ground, dropping something straight down. Also, just the simple effects of gravity on a falling object.